breakthroughs in science and technology, provide innovative products and solutions to the medical community. Hi, I'm Ed Begley Jr. and welcome to Innovations, an educational series dedicated to informing the public on the latest advancements and breakthroughs taking place across the globe. Throughout this series, we'll explore the significant issues impacting our lives today and discover how we're preparing for the future. Cardiovascular toxicity is a leading contributor to drug withdrawal and late-stage attrition. In order to reduce drug-induced arrhythmia, an earlier and broader screening approach for cardiovascular safety screening is required. Cardiovascular toxicity is a major concern for the pharma industry. It is one of the major reasons why a lot of drugs have been withdrawn from the market. And pharma companies uh, spent lots of money and resources to ensure that the drugs that go to the market are safe and efficacious drugs. Cardiovascular safety liabilities remain a major cause of drug attrition during preclinical and clinical development, adverse drug reactions, and post-approval withdrawal of medicines. The main cause of drug withdrawal from the market is uh, due to cardiotoxicity, primarily due to a form of arrhythmia referred to as a ventricular arrhythmia, which could be potentially fatal. At present, there is a need to provide a higher throughput and more predictive approach to be used earlier in drug development. Primarily, the earlier a drug candidate can be eliminated, the more economical it is for pharma companies. Historically, Test systems such as animal cells or artificial systems have been used to detect cardiotoxicity. And it's well recognized that those systems don't fully recapitulate the human biology that's necessary. Stem cell derived cardiomyocytes, such as I-cell cardiomyocytes, do have that biology. And we see now that the scientific literature is validating that they are a more predictive tool for detecting cardiotoxicity. Really, in short, it's gonna streamline the drug discovery process and result in safer and more effective medicines. In response to the need for more predictive preclinical assays for cardiac liability, ASEA Biosciences Incorporated, located in San Diego, California, has introduced its next generation cardio system, the Excelligence RTCA Cardio ECR system. The Cardio ECR system is an instrumentation system for measuring the mechanical uh, properties and electrical properties of the cardiomyocytes, or the heart cells. The cardio ECR system um, allows scientists in pharmaceutical companies, the biotech companies, to measure electric properties and the mechanical properties of cardiomyocytes, and doing so would allow pharmaceutical companies to develop safe drugs to the market. I think as a clinician scientist, what we try to do is model the patient disease as close as we can, obviously not being able to test on the patient themselves, especially um, kids or pediatric patients. So one of the things that we've done is try to model these pediatric cardiac diseases using stem cell derived cardiomyocytes and finding ways to test that um, in different systems is very challenging to look at function and the uh, RTAC at Cardio has allowed us to look at um, modeling these cardiac diseases in um, cells and in stem cell derived cardiomyocytes. So in combination with the new system that's available, allow us to look at both function, but also the ion channels that result in a lot of the arrhythmia problems and heart beating problems that we see in these patients and test not only what causes the diseases, but also ways that we can fix that. The RTCA Cardio ECR system combines impedance and multi-electrode array technology with a pacing function. RTCA Cardio ECR is the first platform to allow simultaneous cardiomyocyte contractility and field potential measurement. Furthermore, this combined dual readout system also provides a longer-term measurement of cardiomyocyte viability, which can potentially identify the compounds that cause longer-term structural damage to cardiomyocytes. The new system that we are launching, which is referred to as the Cardio ECR system, has two different types of readouts. One is to assess contractility, and the other is to look at electrophysiological aspects of the cardiomyocytes. So this way, we can get information about the viability of the cardiomyocytes, contractility, as well as mechanistic understanding of toxicity. The ECR system, uh really marks an evolution of these platforms that are moving from looking at single endpoints to looking at multiple endpoints at the same time. It's really a multiplexing. 
Um, with cardiomyocytes, this comes into play because you've got several different functions where toxicities can arise. The cardio ECR system will allow you to look at both of the electrical as well as the contractile activity of the cardiomyocytes at once. So again, this is going to streamline the process and really make for, uh, I guess, more effective and more predictive conclusions from the cells. With the added field potential capabilities and pacing stimuli, the new cardio ECR system allows for a deeper assessment of mechanism of toxicity. What I see as another major uh, benefit of these cardiomyocytes is that uh, it gives the ability to uh, investigate the phenotype of uh, disease models. For instance, if you take uh, uh, stem cell derived cardiomyocytes from a patient and uh, you want to investigate uh, their phenotype, that is, what are their functional characteristics, uh, the Exelligence platform, which has all of these multi parameter measurements, uh, gives you the ability to uh, investigate. Uh, the disease model and uh, validate that as a platform for looking at uh, uh, drugs that can uh, correct the defect in the disease. So our company, ASEA Biosciences, will certainly have an impact on the future of drug testing in the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, first and foremost, uh, the technology itself has the possibility to reduce animal testing. Second, the fact that we are using human stem cell derived cardiomyocytes provides for a more predictable model to test these compounds and for better risk management of compounds. For more information, visit www.aciabio.com. Advancements in technology and medicine provide more answers today than ever before. Living at the forefront of technology, our knowledge will only continue to grow and teach us how to sustain and live healthier, longer lives.